Good morning, Dustin Troy here, Supercar Sunday, brought to you by Porsche Wilden Hills. And today's segment that everyone loves, what did Addy bring? Addy, what did you bring? Hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, he beat me here today. Secondly, he helped me set everything up. But he brought this. You never know what the guy's gonna bring. I, I just, I don't know if there's anybody more passionate than you, Addy, and you know, you're just you, which I love. Thank you, I love you too. So, what do we have going on here? It's a Jensen Healy. Okay. Uh, it's really a Jensen Healy and a Chevy and a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I can qualify to park in the Chevy section. Okay. I think the guy made it originally in 1992 to be a sort of a model for a Hot Wheel. Mm. So, I know I'm driving on the freeway and all the women roll down the window and wave and I think, oh, okay, it's because of me. No, I figure out what happened, why they doing it. These are the moms with the kids in the back. So let me ask you a so question. Here, look at the hot, so what? Wait, what? Okay. Wait, what? I didn't finish the quick I, I have to interrupt. Okay. You're driving down the freeway, women are rolling down the window for you. What gets more looks and more waves and more thumbs up? This or your... It's a Ferrari, let's just say. Okay, then up front. This. Wow. Well, by, you don't... By far. By far, there's not even a comparison. More there's smiles. Not, more more smiles. And what it is, it's really this. Look, miles I of smiles. I realize that. Is the kids that sitting in the back seat of the SUV okay. are looking and say, Mom, look, a Hot Wheel. And that's what it is. That's why they are so impressed by that. Now, look, there's something so special about it. It's not a sticker. This is paint. Hand painted. Wow. Mark, Mark. You know, uh, I forgot his last name, the custom painter. He did this car in 1992. Wow. Okay? So, I have even here a book that the guy gave me of, look, that's the guy who bought it, I think, originally, and that's how he found the car. And then there's the whole build of this car, of what they did and how it went through all that stuff, you see, wow. building it in the Hot Wheel paint, and all that stuff, and all the wiring oh, inside, look at this, and all that. Oh. Yeah, so, look, I wasn't really into hot, hot rod, you know, but I saw this thing, and I said, this is like a little toy car, it's fantastic. Unbelievable, uh, what's under the hood? So, so you have a, a blower sticking out. Yes. You got a big carburetor. It's, it's a little problematic. You drive the canyon, and you can't see where you're going. When you make your right turn, you don't see the edge. Big bean and blower. So. Gets about uh, four miles per gallon. Something like that. Yeah. Maybe two and a half. Okay. Wow. You see why I can <laughs> look at his face. You see why I can park in the Chevy section? <laughs> There's the reaction. What are your thoughts when he pops the hood? That's insanity. That's the craziest thing. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. It's one of the craziest things I've seen. So it's a blown small block Chevy. It's 350 Chevy. Big blower uh, on it. What is it? The BNM? Yeah, BNM blower. BNM blower. Uh, I don't actually use when I drive it. You know, I don't want to race it or anything like that. I don't. I look at the boost. I'm driving in vacuum. In like, yeah, in stay a, out of the boost. In, in, out of boost. You yeah, know? stay out yeah, of yeah, boost. Too, there's too much engine in this car for this little tiny thing. It drives actually really nice. It's quiet, you know? Side pipes, right. like a Dodge Viper. You know, a Cobra. This, so, there was a sad story two months ago. I'm driving, playing with the radio, not paying attention, not seeing where I'm going, going really slow. I hit this fender. Oh no. Now the question is, out of all the cars, which one is the worst to have to, to, paint. Have, have to paint? This one. Right. But look at this. I have to give Mark a credit. Mark painted this fender here in 1992. This. Okay. This is 1992. This one is 2013. Look. Look at this. This? All hand painted. Hand Absolutely. painted, sprayed. Look how he matched it. Love it. He is, if there's anybody who can paint cars and do stuff like that, 
can't see it. Look at it. Unbelievable. All back together. I just said, take the car, fix it, because I, I felt so stupid doing that. Well, the engine bay is so clean. All the wires are hidden. Everything's tucked away. It's super clean. It's super clean. The gas, you know, the battery, the gas. <laughs> so, he says, damn. It's crazy. <laughs> there you go. That's the reaction. Wow. Uh, this goes like this. It's a nice build, right? Unbelievable. Super clean. Somebody put a lot of time and money into this. Lots. Lot. Right? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I. if you've ever done a car, I mean, this is basically recreating the car with a whole new drivetrain, whole new power plant, all new wiring, all new paint. You know, in this day and age to do that, you're talking about some serious cash. See, somebody looked at these no, no, wheels. No, no, no. Somebody looks at these wheels and said, This guy's Audi can't park. They're taking a video. They're doing a video. They're doing a video. So let me ask you this real quick. It says hood latch. You know why? I'm, Tell me why. <laughs> so, I, I don't know where it is. And I keep looking and looking and say, you know what? I'm gonna so I'm gonna just label it. So so here's the funny part. Addy has a, a pretty extensive collection. And and you know, if you have one car, it's easy. If you have two cars, when you start to get up there in multiple cars, you know, I've got a handful of rusty old muscle cars. You know, you have a lot of batteries, a lot of keys, a lot of tires, a lot of oil to change, and every car has a different nuance. And once they start customizing cars, it's hard to remember where stuff is, as crazy as that sounds. So sometimes he'll put little notes. I put notes, look, I even on the dashboard. And it sounds crazy, but... You know, I could be serious. And, and the other thing is, his collection is everything, including uh, garbage trucks, tanks, motorcycles. You see a label. I just put a little label just so I know. Even though people say, oh, this is stupid, it's obvious. But for, for you know, they, you know... Yeah, so you, know, he, so you guys might think it's crazy. That being said, when you have a lot of cars and every car is different from all over the world literally he has cars from all over the world it's hard to remember what goes where and what opens what and uh, even today getting in new cars uh you know where's the start button is it is it a, a chip is it a button is it a traditional key is it a key fob so so that's that's why well addy i always appreciate you coming out people love this segment you know, you're really becoming world renowned because you'll pull this in and then you'll pull a 959 Porsche in and then you'll pull in a Fiat. A Fiat. Or a Group or B a rally Citroen. car. Or, or a rally car or a Citroen. So we appreciate it. Okay. He sold me the car. Oh, that's so funny. It was, it was his car. And he called me up and said, You want to buy my car? And I said, not my style but when i saw this thing you had to have fantastic it. okay all right well we're going to sign off for now addy thank you for everything you do out here thank you for your help appreciate you all right folks we're out of here supercar sunday 14.